ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் இன் அவர் ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோஸ் வி சா அபவுட் ஒய் வி யூஸ் லூட் ரன்னர் அண்ட் ஒய் டு வி யூஸ் ஜேமீட்டர் அண்ட் வி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் தி வேரியஸ் அட்வான்டேஜஸ் அண்ட் டிஸ்அட்வான்டேஜஸ் ஆஃப் தி டூல்ஸ் தி லூட் ரன்னர் அண்ட் த ஜேமீட்டர் அண்ட் டுடே இன் திஸ் வீடியோ லெட் அஸ் சி அபவுட் நியூ லோட் அண்ட் பிஃபோர் வி மூவ் ஆன் டு த வீடியோ I request you all to subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed yet please do like comment and questions your question your feedbacks in the comment section so first let's move to the development like who has developed neo load neo load was initially developed by neotis and it started in the year 2005 it with the version 1.0 and now neo load is with tricentis in the year 2022 which is almost 17 years of neo load travel and currently we are in the 9.0 the major version so this is about the development of neo load and in fact tricentis when it when it talk when we talk about the tricentis tricentis has tosca which is the automation tool and it has of the neo load in the performance engineering area and in fact tricentis has a queue test in its test management area and since tricentis has a huge set of tools like what we have in load runner the micro focus it still has a huge section of tools which is inbuilt by the tricentis and when we move on to the second part which is the installation the load runner requires at least a 5 gig of file size a file to install the view gen to install the controller to install the analyzer but neo load comes with less than 1 gig of file to install the entire neo load setting and in fact we can install the controller we can even install the van emulator and every other area of neo load and thirdly when it comes to the components there are three components we have in load runner so we all know we use the view gen to create scripts we use the controller to run the test or we have the performance center and then we have the analyzer to analyze the results but in neo load we have the entire settings in one single interface so we have the user path to design the scripts neo load has given us various logical actions to help to manage various complex logics it has even come up with javascript which helps us to manage any complex logics so javascript is another interesting area in neo load and even we have connection to databases we can even connect sql and we have the sap support we have the citrix support as well and in fact we have tunnel recording we can even set up the tunnel recording and we can even have the proxy mode so these are the various advantages and when it comes to population so we need to move to the next component of the load runner if we want to set up the populations the controller but here everything comes in under a single page or the single screen where we can set up the uh, the load distribution we can add the users we can remove the users we can create any level of van emulation here and if we can even handle the cache so all these major part of setting up the test are covered in this population area and when we want to run the test we have the options of scenarios and we can add multiple populations under one scenario and we can do the test we can run ease of use for any load test or stress test or any form of performance testing for any amount of time we have the iteration we can set it by iteration or we can even have by time and the load variation policy again we have constant we have ramp up variation policy we have peaks we have custom so we have all sort of testing possibilities in neo load 
and in fact even we can watch the you, the response times we can watch the errors we can watch the success transactions during the run time so these are the major advantages and when it comes to results in load runner we have to go to the analyzer and here in fact we can have everything under one single screen and even we can export we can export the results into various formats like html or into a pdf so we have all these options in neo load and when it comes to the hard so whether it is e is it easy or hard so when comparing with load runner or jmeter i would say neo load is very easy to create any web application scripts in fact it's quite easy to create scripts for sap for citrix as well and in fact it supports mobile testing so that is a major advantage of neo load we can even test in native applications any hybrid applications using neo load and when it comes to parameterization and correlation it's very simple because 95 percent of the values are automatically correlated by neo load and in fact very few of the data could not be correlated and, and even that is very simple and if you have no idea of how to correlate please do watch the correlation video in our playlist and when it comes to parameterization it's very easy just click on this button you can see multiple options any predefined template options to create the parameterization you can use these options to create any parameters and you can use it in the script and the next option next is the protocol support so when it comes to protocol support i would say new load stands next to load runner because you can see here it supports web Neo load supports SAP GUI, Neo load supports Citrix, and Neo load supports Real Browser. And other than this, Neo load supports API testing, which is a major advantage of Neo load. And in fact, we can add web page requests, we can add HTTP request, we can add AMF, GWT, and we can even do testing for RTMP, Siebel, and SOAP requests. So these are the protocols supported by Neo load. And what about the monitoring so when it comes to monitoring neo load has a huge advantage because it supports major operating systems like linux solaris the aix hp microsoft windows monitor and the vmware monitor and when it comes to network neo load supports rstat snmp and when it comes to databases neo load supports oracle microsoft sql server MySQL, DB2, PostgreSQL, Mongo. So these are the major, major market players. So it supports every databases that are in the market. And in fact, it supports the web EJPTR, like the WebLogic, the Apache Monitor, the JBoss, Tomcat. So whatever you want, NeoLoad has it. It has even supporting the SAP, the Kazing generic and the rest are json monitor as well and when it comes to the apm that is the application performance monitor neo load supports the dynatrace data dog monitor and finally the prometheus monitor so these are some of the are every major players in the market and everything is being set up by neo load and in fact the major advantage of neo load monitoring is neo load monitoring is agentless so what is agentless you don't need to install your agent in the monitor the servers so this is another major advantage of monitoring the servers using neo load and when it comes to ease of use creating a script is quite easy and you can create the scripts very quick which is i would say five times quicker than any other tool and in fact we can we have the option to compare the reports after the test so that these are the major advantages i would say we can go to the generate report and we can do the comparison of reports and there are other options as well so we can choose whatever areas that we want in the report 
and even we have options to export the, uh, the report in the word format or in the pdf format or html or xml so any format we can get the result or the reports and when it comes to neoload web so neoload has the option of sas which is the software as a service where we can use it as an option to collaborate so neoload web is something like the performance center or the low the web option we have in load runner so this is something which jmeter lacks and in fact this is a major advantage is because because it's easy to collaborate it's easy to run the test we can even monitor the test and everybody in the team can monitor if they have the right level of setting and it's quite easy to watch the real time performance and any bottlenecks during the load test and when it comes to cost of license near load is quite costly but still the return of interest the return of investment is more than what is being spent so near load is quite costly but still it's worth spending for performance testing and when it comes to support near load gives support for by 24 cross 7 so it has a email support you can raise your questions in the neoload forum the neotis neoload forum and you get the answers promptly you have people supporting from neoload and again there's a big forum where most of your queries which you face or most of the issues you faced were already answered by neoload and even we can watch them and we can even take answers from them so these are the advantages and disadvantages of neoload and i believe this video would have been very useful to you until we meet you in another interesting video it's bye bye from asan shanmugam and little's law